Here's how I transformed my average skinny weak looking legs into what they are today. It's actually a lot easier than you think. In this video, I'm going to run through my usual leg day session and what I do to grow them fast. But there's a few secret tips that I'm going to tell you today that people don't always show. And no, it's not trend, although that would help. So in my usual gym session, I have seven main exercises I do. There's a lot of things that I do around that, but we'll go through that together. The first exercise I do for leg day is leg extensions. Now this is my favourite quad targeting movement because it really isolates the muscle. You'll notice that all your favourite footballers have huge quads, and I can tell you they're definitely doing leg extensions. On the way down, you need slow and controlled movements to put the muscle under tension, and then on the way back up, you can go a little bit quicker. Now, moving on to the next exercise, hamstring curls. So the hamstring is just below your glutes, and a few years ago, I got an injury there. This makes me hard. <laughs> this makes me... <laughs> anyway, this makes these hard for me to do, so just be careful. Exercise three. Weighted squats are the go-to exercise for everyone when training their legs. Being a compound movement, they work the majority of the muscle group. With these, concentrate on your form rather than reps. Don't ego lift, like this guy. This will help you fatigue your leg muscles, which is what you're looking for. You may be asking, why do I need to fatigue and bring the muscles to failure? You need to aim for failure because you want to tear the muscle fibers. This is where the growth comes from. Also known as hypertrophy. Once the fibres are torn, the protein you have in your diet fills the gaps and repairs the muscle, making it bigger. Chicken, eggs, even your pet goldfish if you need it, these are just some of the higher protein foods to eat more of. You're aiming for about 2 grams of protein per kg of body weight to grow. Anyway, next exercise, Bulgarian split squats. Once again, like the squats, they work most of your legs. And the good thing about these is that you work each leg individually, so there's no relying on a stronger side, because we're all guilty of doing that. You can even do these at home. Also, these are really gonna test and improve your balance. Exercise five is the leg press. Now, when I'm doing these, I do lunges in between the sets to really tire out my legs. And by the end of it, you'll feel like you can't even walk. They work the quads, hamstrings, and the glutes, so you can be looking extra thick for the boys. Up next is exercise six, calf raises. Calves always seem to be skipped for some reason, but need to be done. These are hard to train if you're not getting a full range of motion. Anyway, make sure you're doing your calf raises. Exercise seven is the calf leg press. Similar to the raises, you need to have a large range of motion, but instead using both legs at the same time. Really focus on pointing your toes to their peak point and then going all the way down. And make sure you're going slow and controlled as well. When it comes to the reps for all of these exercises, you want to be doing at least eight to 12. Start on a weight where you can do each set for eight reps. And once you can get 10 to 12 reps from it, then you can move up. This is progressive overload and how you improve. So if you're doing more than 12 reps, then you definitely need to up the weight. Do everything in this video to get massive legs. Make sure to subscribe and check out my Instagram and TikTok.